Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Mike Makes It. We're in a cold garage, but with a clear desk. And the main reason is I fitted an old monitor. It's 2009 vintage. Doesn't even have an HDMI port to it. But I'll tell you for why. The main reason for that is because if I'm trying to video something here on the desk, I have this contraption with my iPhone, because I use iPhone as a recording device. The iPhone's trapped in here, looking down on the desk here. And often I go off shot because I can't see actually what I'm recording. Because I've got to look through the camera screen itself to see what's going on down here. Well, I'm upgrading to, as I say, 2009 monitor and an Apple TV box. Another vintage model, 2012, off eBay, £15, included the cable, HDMI cable, the power cable, and a remote. So what I should be able to do is still have the old phone trapped here, but I'll be able to screen mirror to that display at the back. So what I'll do now, we'll plug this in, set it up, and we'll see, see what happens, see if it actually works. I hope so. All right, that's the Apple TV box booted up, as you can see. As I said earlier, this monitor doesn't even have a HDMI connector. It doesn't. It's got an adapter. If we can have a little look around the back. There it is. That's an Amazon uh, HDMI to DVI adapter. This monitor has got a DVI and a SVGA input. So we're using the DVI side of it with that adapter. I'm going to swing around here. And what I propose to do is use the inbuilt AirPlay that's on my phone to transmit to the Apple box. I've tried other software in the past, um, apps, etc., that would screen mirror from my phone to a Chromecast device, but never had a lot of luck with that. It usually hangs up about halfway through a recording, or it runs a battery down really, really quick on the iPhone. And also, you often have to pay for the apps. Um, Granted, I paid £15 for that, but I've got that for life. So um, I, I'm very, very pleased with, with the uh, price of that compared to dodgy software. So we'll go over to AirPlay. I'm not going to be able to do that while we're recording. Unfortunately, the camera shuts off when I try to switch AirPlay on, which is what you'd expect. Now, that's gone to sleep mode. So we press the button on the remote. And, well, there you go. It's got screensaver. That's fine. Go back to the main menu. Just see if the remote works. It does. There you go. So, yeah, we'll switch over to AirPlay, and I'll show the results. Right, probably lost you there, but I have turned on AirPlay within the control panel on the iPhone, and that's what we got. Now, I'm in landscape mode at the moment with the video, and as you can see, it's a little bit glitchy we slide left or right that's because I'm trying to transmit uh, for want of a better word from the iPhone to the, the um, Apple TV box in 4k now it's not capable of that as you can see uh, on my screen that I'm looking at on the iPhone itself it says 37 38 seconds we only got 31 here so we're about 10 seconds behind so I'm going to stop the recording go to HD recording, then we'll come back and see how much better it is. Right, we switched over to HD recording on the iPhone 1080, and we get no delay at all. You swing around. I'm reading on my screen on the on the camera. I'm using 18 seconds, and that's the same as we've got on the screen here. So um, there's no delay at all on that. You need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. But apart from that, um, for £15 and a monitor I had up in the cupboard there, I'm going to have screen mirroring software that I can actually use that won't hang up. We're using the Apple AirPlay protocol to an Apple device, so I'm not expecting to have a video hang up halfway through. Uh, I don't think there's a way I can actually record and show you how to switch on AirPlay, but basically go to the main screen on your iPhone, top right hand corner drag down the screen uh, you'll see a control panel that's got your wi-fi you can t go to air, um, air airplane mode uh, lots of other options on there one is the screen mirroring option 
which is two little screens, touch that, and so long as you've got your Apple, Air, Apple TV box fired up and available, and it's on the same Wi-Fi as your phone, you'll see it, and you click on that, start mirroring, and away you go, that's it, job done. But uh, unfortunately, I can't show you that live now because it cuts off the recording. I did try. But basically, £15 and I, uh, lovely. No subscriptions, no fiddly software I've got to mess with. Click of a button and I'm screen mirroring. So that'll be a good addition. I uh, hope you found that useful. I, I did think about buying an Apple TV box in the past, but didn't sure, wasn't sure if it worked or would work. Well, the news is, yes, it does work. So... Go on eBay, look for a cheapo box. This is um, a Generation 3 box. It's an A1427 2012 model. So it's 11 years old, uh, but it'll work perfectly for what I want to do. So, yeah, chuck away your dodgy software, buy an Apple TV box off eBay, and away you go. Thanks for watching.